Hi everybody and welcome to the Woodbine Play of the Day for Sunday, November the 4th. I'm Dan Ullman along with Woodbine Racing Analyst Don Lupel and we have a really nice race for two-year-old Phillies card. It is race number six. It's the $225,000 Princess Elizabeth Stakes. We're going a mile and a sixteenth on the synthetic surface and Don, boy the number three tis breathtaking. That's what she's been in her last two races. She's been sensational. They were asking a lot of her last time out stretching out three furlongs off a two month layoff and she went from last to first in a quarter mile. You know if you went through her lines with a magnifying glass she could be easily an undefeated filly. Uh, just the one defeat. So um, three to five on the morning line. I'm not sure they can beat her, but we'll see. She's going to be real tough. Maybe the one with the yeah. best chance to upset her is the number five, Bold Script. Now, Bold Script has competed exclusively on turf for trainer Stuart Simon, mm -hmm. but I kind of like some of the things she's done, especially that third place finish in the Natalma two starts back. I thought she was very, very wide on the turn and finished pretty gamely. And last time out, I thought Gary Boulanger gave her a really nice ride, able to save ground in behind the winning favorite. Just couldn't get to that one. The question is, can she handle the Synth. Her dam could. Mm -hmm. I would think so. Spice Town can pretty much run on anything. They've had no issues with the uh, synthetic track here. The fact she was against the boys last so in the Cup and Saucer, I mean, that's a little bit of an extra bonus for you. She finished second round extremely well. She's obviously the one that has the biggest chance, like you said, Dan. But I don't know. I'm still not overly convinced they can beat the three. Sneaky long shot, though, down towards the rails, the number one Malibu Dawn. This yeah. is a Samsung homebred by Malibu Moon, and she was so impressive winning her maiden sprinting, going six and a half. I thought she set a legitimate pace and then just kept right on going. And when you look at this pedigree, there's no reason why she can't stretch out. Her second mm -hmm. dam, all she did was uh, win the Queen's Plate as well as this race, and the third <laughs> dam's the great dance smartly. Yeah, I mean, pedigree all over the place. She's a nice filly, too. Just uh, big, leggy, longish, uh, from a physical perspective, no issues with any kind of distance I wouldn't expect. And that was such an easy win last time. It really was. So from the inside, I wonder what kind of tack they'll take. Do they try to get to the front? Do they, you know, try to control everything? That will be the curious part of the race. I think Alan Garcia is probably going to try to send and take him as far as they can and yeah. see if Tis Breathtaking can try to run them down late. Let's be honest. The others have to improve by leaps and bounds if they're going to win yeah. this race. Lady Azalea goes out for Roger Atfield. And last time out, she stretched out for the first time. She kind of lacked the punch, but she wasn't beaten far by Tis Breathtaking. I kind of like that mm -hmm. nice long long, slow breeze in, leading up to this race, maybe trying to get her to get this distance. She's such a classy looking filly too. I really think she's going to have a nice career and I suspect she'll come back even nicer next year as a three-year-old when she's just finished kind of, you know, just doing her growing and getting that all done. Uh, but she is very nice, definitely, and uh, looks like she'll run on other surface too. Nice to see flat out Vixen handle the two turns last time out, but she was supposed to win a two to five against that <laughs> field and she got the right yeah. setup. This might be a rude awakening as she steps up into stakes company. Well, it's, it's tough to pick a claimer, you know, it's against these real pedigreed fillies. At least she's been consistent against the ones she's been running against, but she hasn't seen the likes of these yet. A broken breeze last time out, uh, I thought ran a pretty good race. I thought the inside was pretty good on October the 7th, and she was wide maybe against the grain, but she's a maiden making only her second lifetime start stretching yeah. out. Lots to ask. Lots to ask. She, yeah, yeah. I mean, she finished second at 17 to one, so she outran her odds for sure. But uh, compared to the other fillies, you know, she's kind of fine looking. I'm not sure how she'll uh, absolutely enjoy this trip. I'm a big no on her. Well, is it tis breathtaking? Is she just simply too much for these? <laughs> I think so, at a diseasedly small price, but uh, we'll we'll figure something out with pick fours and the like. Maybe I could hook her up in the exotics with Lady Azalea. You mentioned how nice yeah. she looks, and perhaps she can one day reach her potential. She's not there yet, but I have a feeling she is going to be okay as well. Maybe if mm -hmm. I could sneak her in and split the favorites, we can make a nice exacta out of it. I'll keep an eye on Lady Azalea in the Sunday Woodbine Play of the Day. It's the Princess Elizabeth Stakes.